So we got to this point because of the civil rights movement. And there are many people who are unsung heroes, folks who will never get the notoriety they deserve, who fought, who were arrested, who were beaten, who did things they will never know about unless we are able to find the history to get us to this place. And with us today, a gentleman who decided that he would sit in as a student at Tennessee State to make sure that we can do the things that we're doing right now. So next to talk about the civil rights movement his personal struggles story and to share a little bit of uh, music with you is Mr. Earl Williams. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, I want to thank Amar. I want to thank Joyce Wright. Where are you, Joyce? I didn't see you. I want to thank uh, the Mitchellville Project for bringing the uh, Bringing me on. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, let me tell my story. Uh, this is February, February 1st, 1960. The citizens came to Greensboro, North Carolina. There were four African American kids decided to go down to the uh, Woolworth store to sit in. They went in and sat down. They re refused service. That was the beginning of the sit-ins. Two weeks later, I was a student at Tennessee State University. I was a 19-year-old sophomore. And the sit-ins came to Nashville, Tennessee. Everybody were excited. Uh, it was about five of us that went down and that, uh, volunteered to go sit in. There were about six or seven kids from Fisk University also went volunteered, and there were a bunch of kids from Vanderbilt. The interesting thing was that was coming from Fisk University, there were two white kids. This one young fellow, his name was Paul Leather from, from uh, Colorado. i never forget. I asked him, I said, man, why are you here? So I said, I said, man, you don't have to do this. He was studying to be a, a, a priest. And he told me, he said, Earl, I'm just, uh, I'm doing this for, I'm doing this for humanities. I said, well, good, cool, wonderful. So we, he joined in, and so we, we sat in about three weeks. On that fourth week, we were chosen, four of us were chosen to go to a, a department store downtown Nashville. It was called Kane Sloan's. Uh, we went in, sat down, nobody served us. I uh, only helped, went back in the back, they were in the back, peeping, looking. At that time, it was, it was unknown, a no-no for blacks to come in and sit down. But we were denied service. So about, we sat there for about two hours. After a while, the police came in, told us, you're under arrest, you are, you're trespassing. They put us in handcuffs, marched us out took us out, out into the streets, put us in the paddle wagon, paddle wagon, and carried us to the jail, the local jail. We got to the jail, and there were about 100 kids in there singing, We shall overcome. We stayed there until about 7 o'clock, until some officials from Tennessee State University came and, and paid our bill. And uh, we were happy to get out, but we got, uh, we got, uh, perform the service. And ladies and gentlemen, that's my story. And I brought along my horn here. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. And I brought along I need my a, a harmonica, but I'm going to do it my horn first.
Michael Campbell, AME Singers. Josh Kruger from the Town of Hilton Band. Levon Stevens on the accompaniment. And again, the amazing Earl Williams.